Hey guys, welcome to another TV review. We're going to be talking about Peacemaker. Yes, Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad, not the 2016 Suicide Squad. This is the The Suicide Squad with John Cena and other actors. Now, this show is pretty, takes place after The Suicide Squad. Yeah, I know, at the end of the show, the Justice League shows up. I guess it's canon during that Justice League era. But anyways, this show is okay. They build up Peacemaker becoming a villain in the Suicide Squad. But then he gets a second chance because he didn't get killed. He's alive. And he's working with this or whoever's in charge. I'm pretty sure it's that. Uh, that black woman in the show that directs him what to do. So he's going after the butterfly. In the end, he realized it's not them who's the threat. It's the people in Earth that are the threat. So he let goes the butterflies and, and moves on. I know. The show is okay in the beginning, but the ending just is just weird. It sets up him for a season two now. Who knows if this is canon in James Gunn's version, but we'll just have to wait and see. I will give the show maybe a five out of ten if it performs better from episode one to three because then it goes downhill and then you got the filler episodes and I just don't like that. Anyways, the show is it's okay when it goes up, but when you get to the f- the middle part of the episode and the end, of the, it just, to me, it's like all that buildup was like basically nothing. And then also one person working with John Cena was also a butterfly the whole entire time. When did that become a thing? Well, it was during those episodes when one person was wearing John Cena's helmet, or should I say Peacemaker's toilet, toilet helmet because that's what it looks like anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed it